never make it to the top but I come from the bottom hey good morning y'all good afternoon good evening family welcome 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 to this crazy place that I call the mental house with me your host Khadija you know I've always loved Jane Fonda this is um inside story and I've always loved her because of her activism because um, <coughs> well not just her activism I mean <coughs> I liked her movies hell I love on Golden Pond uh, <laughs> nine to five um, she just seemed like a real cool person right so I've always uh, had a, a felt a kinship towards a Jane Fonda. And I guess after hearing this interview that she did with Kerry Washington, I finally understand why. And before I give you a little backstory uh, about this um, and play y'all what she said, y'all just bear with me a minute. I always talk about how slavery didn't, I mean, even though we know it went on for years and years and hundreds of years, White people are a victim of that demonic period as well. And I know it's hard for us to even get outside to see that. But anytime you take your kid down to a lynching or a burning, um, because children are pure spirits. I don't care. When they're small, I don't give a damn what color they are. Just when they're babies and when they're young, unless they've been poisoned, by an adult, their hearts are pure. Okay? So, when you see a story or when you hear a story, like what she's about to uh, share, um, it was her father, her grandfather, that was the supremacist. And they grew up, uh, well, her father was from Omaha, Nebraska. Um, and Henry Ford, Fonda, who some of y'all, I'm probably going too far back for a lot of y'all, but if you know who I'm talking about, just put a thumbs up. Uh, her father um, he actually played in the movie with her as well. It was one of the last movies he did, I think, before he died, um, Fonda. He was such a great actor. And he, she got a brother named Peter. Uh, but his, he was profoundly affected by watching that lynching that his grandfather made him watch. Like so many other these wicked, insane, uh, chromatic, Neanderthal, genetic mutant that love that kind of craziness. When they take their children down there, and expose their children to that garbage, they really uh, are not thinking the effects that it's going to have. Either they're going to be the adult that loves this, or they're going to, you know, be totally, totally, they're going to be the, the, the person that they know is a humanitarian. And that's what Peter, um, I mean, her dad, well, I can't think of his name right now. Henry Fonda? Well, that's what he passed on to his kids, especially Jane. And she told this story, and I thought it was quite fascinating. So I just want to play a little clip from it, and I want y'all to check this out because, to me, it just did a lot of insight, too. Now you see why her activism spirit, every time she 80 years old, if it's a Black Lives Matter movement, if it's a free Pal it, Palestine movement, Jane Fonda has always been on the front line. She's been to jail. She's been, I mean, and I respect her. I respect her. Check this out. And for the first time, I think I got to know, like, Jeffrey Holder, mm. who I now realize, I always thought of him as a dancer, but somebody just gave me a book that he signed to me before he died. 
of his artwork. He was a great artist, Jeffrey Holder. Is it because you were just you weren't really around black people when you were living in L.A.? Or no, I wasn't at all. Yeah. Not exposed to people of color at all. Mm -hmm. I didn't know racism until I went to Greenwich. That was the first time I ever heard the N-word, and I repeated the N-word once, and the only time in his life that my dad whacked me across the face. He said, don't you ever, ever say that word again. Oh, my God. Mm. Um, my dad grew up in Omaha, Nebraska, and one night, he was, I don't know, maybe 12, his father said, come with me. His father, my grandfather, who I never knew, had a printing press that looked down over a central plaza, a square in Omaha. And he made my father stand there and watch when a black man was taken out of the sheriff's office and hung, and then dragged behind a truck around the square. And it had a huge impact on my father. And he made the Oxbow incident about hanging. He made the wrong man. He made 12 angry men. I mean, he really, he cared about justice. And he hated racism. And, you know, with that slap, he taught me to pay attention. And That's who that family is. I want to give a shout out to the Fonda family. I think Peter's gone, going on now. Um, and she has a couple other half brothers, I believe. But I want to give a shout out because anybody that comes from the loins of of uh, Fonda, Henry Fonda, that's off the loins also of a John Brown. Because although his dad participated in that hanging and shit. He was one that rejected it. And I'm curious to know, you know, how his relationship went with his father. Now I can kind of understand why they weren't as close um, as the story goes, allegedly. I get it. Because they were two different men. It's almost like two different uh, nations growing up in one womb. Fonda didn't want that on his heart. And his grandfather thought nothing of it and took him down and traumatized him by making him watch a black man get hung. Now I know why I love the Fondas. I love, I know that's extremely why I love you, Jane. And I appreciate your honesty because I, I too came back from the day where our parents would slap the shit out of us, um, but it was all, it 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 wasn't out of hatred, okay. And and I I know how to draw the line. When you got a slap in your face, that was the ultimate, in my opinion, it was the ultimate insult, and it was also the ultimate. I'm gonna wake your ass up. Do you realize what you just said? And I'm not going to um, um, minimize the impact that that slap had on Jane because it changed her the trajectory of her thinking. She wasn't like her grandfather. And um, I know I think her and Peter were at odds a lot. I don't know. But I know that that was enriching to hear. So I don't know what y'all think about that. Jane Fonda's in the interview. You can catch it uh, because Kerry Washington has got a, a podcast now. But that was a great guest, and it was a great podcast, by the way. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share my channel. I'll see you in the next video.